everyone. This is Delshawn Hayes, and welcome to another episode of Money Control TV, where we talk about all things money, how to earn it, how to sew it, how to save it, and definitely how to enjoy it. So on this episode, we're going to talk about how to budget for Mother's Day gifts, right? And so May is knocking. May is just next week, Wednesday, May the 1st. And so before we begin, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell notification. So to be the first one know when I upload a new video, if you already subscribed, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And so let's go ahead and talk about budgeting for Mother's Day, right? And so my goodness, it is going to be super cool. Super cool because look, we're not going to stress about it. We're going to stretch our money. So the first thing that you need to do is really create a realistic budget and see how much money that you have remaining after you paid all your necessary necessary bills, right? And so making sure that you pay everything that you need to pay and see what you have left over. That is the first thing. And so just think if you paid everybody, right? Also paid yourself, right? Paid yourself first. And so you have, say example, you have like maybe $50, right? $50 remaining uh, in your budget. So let's really say, okay, we got $50 to work with. Then I want, the next step that I want you to do is to go ahead and make a list of all of the people that you really want to buy a Mother's Day gift for. And so you're going to go ahead and send your mother, maybe your mother-in-law, maybe your sister, your godmother, maybe a church mother. Just really begin to make a list, right? Really begin to make a list of who that you want to purchase a gift for, right? So remember, we only got $50, so go ahead and write that list. And so the third thing is let's go ahead and be very creative, right? Be creative. And so the sex thing, the third thing is just research, research some stores, right? And see, see what they have on sale first. And so I love going to the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree, you can get some crazy, amazing, good gifts at the Dollar Tree, which is very inexpensive. Number two, you can go to Five Below, which they have gifts, great gifts for five dollars and below. And then you can go to Facebook or a let's I mean let's go or offer up you know uh online to see is anybody selling anything for inexpensive but good and probably new item on those platforms. And so what I would do would go back to my list and really think about what do I want to purchase each each person, right? And so you might think your mom, your mom probably got a lot of things. So what can you get her that that she doesn't already have, right? And start making a list by those those names. And then you already did the research. So you already know, hey, you want to buy your mother a scarf? Then hey, you already know that Dollar Tree has a scarf for one dollar. And so you work like that. And so again, you guys, I don't want you to stress about Mother's Day. I just really want you to be able to enjoy your loved ones on Mother's Day. So again, here's a recap. Number one is go ahead and do your May budget. See what's left over. And then what we have left over, this is where you're going to, right, stretch your money or maximize your money to cover all the people that you want to buy a Mother's Day gift. So again, give yourself some financial grace if you're not able to buy everybody on your list a gift now. So June is always available, July August, September, October, November, December. So just don't limit to just Mother's Day. You can buy gifts throughout the year when you can afford it. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, and so I see you on the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and I will chat with you guys later. Bye.